What's up, you beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I am actually going to be doing a very, 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 very exciting first impression video for you guys today. As you can see, I am barefaced because I am going to do this video for you guys. And I don't know what look I'm going to come up with yet, but we'll just keep on going with what the products we have. So, first off, we're going to be doing a review and a first impression and a tryout of the new Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Now this uh, this line is exclusive to Sephora. It just launched on the 8th of September, two days after my birthday. So I'm really excited about finally getting some pieces in my hands for me to show you guys and to try and test out for you guys and see what I think. So we have the Pro Filter Foundation. We have the beautiful Trophy Wife Highlighter. We have the Glossy Balm Lip Gloss. And then we have the Multi Sticks. So I have two shimmers and one like contour shade from the multi sticks and they kind of stick together so I think that's really cute. If you guys want to see what kind of look or crazy look that I come up with today then keep on watching. First we're going to do our base. Now I wish that my skin was in better condition but right now it is not. It is breaking out every single wear. I don't understand what the hell is going on with it. But we're going to go in with this foundation. Now, I did not buy the primer, but I did use my own NYX Hydro Touch primer as my base because I really love this primer and because I heard that the foundation has more of like a matte finish, so I wanted to get something very hydrating under it. So, let's go in with the Pro Filter 120 foundation. This is the shade 120, like I just said. Um, this one you just shake well and we just will apply it to the face. I believe this one is a medium to full coverage. It is sweat and humidity proof, so I'm really, really, really excited about trying this one out. So, let's get started with that one. Okay, so so far so good. I do realize that it does dry really fast, so you really have to work fast, or at least I should have done just one side of my face. I'm pretty foolish for doing that, but um, I am going to do a little bit, a little bit more, just because I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. Because of course I have my redness and this damp pimple that will not go away. So let me just apply a little bit more with my finger, like I did before, and just kind of go in from there, just to kind of get more coverage. Foundation is on. I actually went in with a concealer. I used the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I did not use like one of her matchsticks as a concealer. I just wanted to use a separate concealer just to see how it would work together. It did work really nice. The pimple is still there, so I'm going to have to do something about that by the end of this damn video because I am getting really frustrated with it. But other than that, the foundation still looks pretty good. I would have to say that this is very, I would say, closer to a matte finish, so it definitely is not very hydrating for my skin. But it still does look really good and really natural and kind of luminous because of the primer, I'm hoping. So, it does look really good. My skin's just really aggravating right me right now, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm just giving this an honest review from the foundation, not from what my skin is doing today. So, anyways, I am going to go in with three different matchsticks. I have two shimmers and a, like a contour. So, I have confetti starstruck and amber and these are the ones i'm going to be using today i'm going to be using confetti on my eye just because it's a really pretty shade um starstruck i might be using on my eye as well because i'm going to go in with a powder highlighter and then i'm going to go in with amber so first things first look at this look how cute they all like magnetize together so you can have them all together and like their cute little fendi beauty i think this is actually really adorable and the packaging is so fucking on point like i think rihanna did the damn thing with this and with the stick amber so this is going to be like the cream contour i'm going to use this now i am not that great at cream contours but you know what we will go in and we'll try it out i'm going to contour you know everywhere that you would contour but i'm going to use like a brush to blend it out to see if it might be better than a sponge so, let's get started with that. So, successfully, it did blend out really nicely. I am so happy about that because I have been looking for new contour like cream sticks to try and so far this one's really good 
it blended really nicely on this side. It did patch up a little bit on this side, but I think it's just because my this side of my face is like drier than most. Like every time I do a cream contour on this side, the foundation just goes like gone. A plus on this one so far. I'm actually really liking this. This is the shade Amber, so this is a good contour for like fair to light skin tones like how I am. So if you're definitely looking for a good contour stick, this one seems to be really nice so far. So yeah, let's go set my face really quick and then I'll be right back. My face is all set. I use the NARS Laguna Bronzer as my bronzer to kind of bronze after contouring. And of course, I add a little mole with my Anastasia Brow Wiz that I use on my brows because I want to be a little Marilyn Monroe today because I wanted to cover up this damn pimple so bad. But now it actually looks really cute. So hey, I'm living for it. Whatever. Before we go in with highlight powder wise, let's go in with a cream highlight. So I'm going to go actually go in with this one right here. This is in the shade Starstruck. I'm going to use that all over, just kind of highlight, highlight, highlight. And then we're going to finally go in with one of the biggest parts of this brand, and that is Trophy Wife. This highlighter is so gorgeous, and I cannot wait to put it all over my existence. But let's go in with Starstruck and then layer on with this. Okay, so that is actually really nice for a stick highlighter, I'm just saying. That one actually looks really pretty, but of course I'm going to put Trophy Wife over top of it. But we will come back to this one, and of course back to Confetti very soon. I will be using those on my eyes. Now, it's time for Trophy Wife. And I cannot wait to put this all over my existence because I've seen so many different skin tones wear it. I've seen Laura Lee wear it. I've seen Trophy Star wear it. I've seen much deeper skin tones wear it. I've seen much lighter skin tones wear it, and I'm just truly truly obsessed with this color and I'm hoping that doesn't look too crazy on me but you know what it's okay to be crazy we all crazy a little bit so I really want to go in with this I'm going to use my favorite Morphe Y14 brush as my highlighting brush so let's get started <laughs> Okay, so, um, it's not very hard for me to say this, it's not at all very hard for me to say this, but this is $34, and you need to go pick this shit up right now, this, oh, ah, oh my god, that's beaming for the gods, oh my god, and the best thing about it is it's not, it doesn't look weird on me, like, when, like, when I'm straight forward, it looks like it's, like, bronzy kind of, but then, bam, bam, oh my god. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Like, I want to just bathe my entire, like, existence in this. Like, I really, I don't know how I have to feel about this. This is so pretty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, it's time for me to go in with Starstruck and Confetti on the eyeballs because I want to try these colors out. And, of course, I haven't gave it Confetti a true test yet. But I guess, uh, another thing, too, really quickly... It is best to warm it up on the back of your hand before applying it because I did realize it's a little bit harder to wear unless you warm it up. So just definitely warm it up on the back of your hand. Those are really pretty. So I'm really excited about doing this one. I might add a little bit of Trophy Wife over top if it doesn't work out for me. But we'll keep going and we'll see how it looks. <laughs> Okay, so I look a little crazy, I know, but um, I'm actually going to put Trophy Wife over my, all my eyes. The reason why I put a little bit of confetti on my lip is because I'm going to put on the Glossy Balm at the end of this, so I kind of want to give like a holographic undertone to it. So, anyways, let's put a little bit of Trophy Wife over top. <laughs> Okay, so I probably look like a hot mess still, but a lot better. Um, I know that it's, my look doesn't look like a very everyday kind of look, only because I have so many different products from Fenty Beauty that I did purchase that I wanted to really give it a true testament. So, really quickly, before we put on the Glossy Balm, I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to be trying out the new MAC Mascara in the Bold Bad and... Bold and black, bad lash. So last but not least, we have the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow 
Glossy Balm Lip Illuminizer. So this one is definitely going to be really nice. It is meant for all skin tones, so it looks good on everybody. I did put, like I said, a little bit of confetti under under it. Just kind of give my lips a little bit of a cooler effect before putting the lip gloss over top. So now let's just open this up. Okay, so there is the product. Now it has a vanilla peach smell, so I'm really excited about that because it smells really good. But I cannot wait to see this on the lip, so let's get started with that. <laughs> Okay, so the gloss is actually really pretty. Like, it's actually really pretty. I love how the, the applicators are very, very fat applicators, so you can really get it all over your lip. But that's actually a really pretty gloss. Okay, so that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Of course, I it was just me throwing on some makeup. Honestly, it is really, really fun just to kind of play with as much as possible, like using products that I've never used before. Of course, doing a first impression on them is definitely very, very fun, especially from a brand that just launched. So, I probably would have definitely threw some more color in my eye and a little bit, um more like chiseled features I would have to say but I do like the way that this came out so I am going to give you guys my final thoughts on the products right now pro filter foundation I'm in the shade 120 I do feel like this one is a nice full coverage foundation now for me I am more dry so it definitely did cling to certain areas on my face but it still looks very good and very natural. I do like that. So I will be playing with this one a lot in the future. I also will give you guys like a quick update on like Instagram sometime in the future whenever I'm wearing this to see how long it lasts. I'll probably be wearing it for work tomorrow because I work like an 8 hour day tomorrow. So I'll see how long I can wear this for and for it to last. So we'll definitely see that. This foundation is $34 so I definitely feel like if you're really excited about this brand and you want to try something new, I would say go for it. Now this comes in 40 shades people, 40. Like I've not seen any brand do that yet. Kudos to Rihanna, this shit's bomb. Like I'm so excited about her brand right now because she's really going in for all ethnicities, all skin tones, all types of people. So I'm really excited about that. I love this. So this foundation is $34 and I definitely feel like you guys need to go pick it up as soon as possible to try it out for yourself. If you are more oily prone, you will definitely love this. The Multi 6. Now like I said, I only used three today and um, I used Starstruck, yeah, Starstruck, Confetti, and Amber. Now Amber was really nice as a cream contour. I absolutely adored it. It did blend out really nicely and I'm really happy about that. I feel like I will definitely be using this one in the future very, very soon. Confetti was not as wow as I thought it would be, but it's still a really, 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 really pretty highlighter. I definitely will be using this um, a lot more in the future, especially for like those like neutral naked day, like naked makeup days, if that makes sense. So I'm definitely going to be using that very, very soon in the future. And then Starstruck was blinding. It was gorgeous. And I absolutely adore, adore, adore this highlighter. I'm so obsessed with these. So... These are $25 each. Of course, they do stick together, which I think is a really cute and innovative product to do for $25 each. So, do I think these are worth it? I say yes, they are definitely worth it. They're actually really nice stick products. And, of course, I hate stick highlighters, stick contours. I really only like stick foundations, but I do like these a lot. They did blend really nicely, really smoothly. They did not have a lot of issues with them. The foundation I did have a little issue because it did dry so fast so I definitely think half the face for once and then go with the second half um like right after but the sticks were definitely very, very nice. I'm sorry my throat is a little bit dry today. The Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Trophy White Highlighter. This there is nothing else I need to say about it. It's $34. It's worth every penny. This is so beautiful and I've seen it on very very deep skin tones and it's gorgeous on them I've seen it on very very light skin tones like for example like me and it looks so blinding and so in your face and I love it I feel like it's such a really pretty highlighter and I feel like it's definitely suitable for a lot of skin types now it's definitely an abnormal highlighter it's not something that it would be an everyday highlighter because this one is such a gold 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 highlighter but honestly I don't give a damn because this is a highlighter I'd be wearing all over my existence every single day like I 
am truly obsessed with this one. Talk about the Glossy Balm Lip Gloss. Now, I feel like if you're not a gloss person, you can definitely skip this one, but this is only $18. I feel like if you're looking for a new everyday, like, gloss, just to kind of throw into your bag, your makeup bag, your gym bag, whatever, and just like throw on a little gloss and just go out for the day. I feel like it's definitely one of those lip glosses. I am going to be wearing this a lot nowadays because I don't know what it is, but I love my matte liquid lipsticks, but recently I've been getting into a lot of glosses, and so this might replace a lot of my glosses because this is really, really pretty, and I feel like I could put this over top of any lipstick and it will look gorgeous. It was my end of my little crazy makeup tutorial kind of review tutorial for you guys today on the Fenty Beauty. Now, just from these pieces alone, I definitely have to say, Rihanna, you did the damn thing. I love you so very much. I only have a few pieces from the collection. I don't have the entire collection. I didn't know nothing was sent to me. I went out and bought them with my own money. Um, I did not buy any of the brushes, but I definitely will have to get the brushes in the future. So you guys run to your nearest Sephora and pick up as much pieces as you can if you are willing to try anything from her brand. So that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys liked it. Make sure you thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.